Dona Canito Marotaca, Dona Canito Taritaca. We shall meet you with a little bit to Bulova Coro. Dona Bravo. I had to get. In 2012, a massive landslide on the west coast of Fiji's Vitilevu Island came down the high mountain range of the Mba province. Boulders and tons of earth crashed down on the village of Tukuraki, destroying this home in the process and killing a family of four. <laughs> Shortly after the devastation, Tukuraki village was declared unsafe. The people of Tukuraki were asked to vacate the area, an area they have occupied for many generations. Na tuvea wa kisari dona kandele, nda se ni mbola na nda koro, dali tuwa rabi sa dona kandele. Na tarab ka libuna na nda mbola na ngone, nda mbola ni buli, nda buli ni zaka zaka ni lotu. Kini tu kara pada ni tu kan ini bulan lebih kara juga pun mu, sa dona ka kandeng deh na, na bulan itu kara lebih. In 2016, a piece of land was identified for the community to build and relocate to. This was after many negotiations between the Fijian government, traditional landowners, and the people of Tukuraki. The project would be funded by the European Union and implemented by the Pacific Community, SPC. After a year of development and five years of living apart, this displaced community now have a new Tukuraki to move into and rebuild their lives. After the vulnerability need assessment conducted by our climate change office, a total of more then uh, 600 communities were identified and registered to be relocated to higher grounds as they were at risk of being inundated by rising sea levels in the future. These are coastal communities. Today we are witnessing a relocation from within the highlands to a more safer and secured site. This relocation points out the fact that everyone will be affected by the impacts of climate change, irrespective of our locality. The relocation of Tuguraki would be a fine example of the adverse impacts of climate change on a community. It is also a fine example of being resilient. Tuguraki was destroyed five years ago by landslide and the people had to move. They were then affected again by a, a hurricane even, and a few years later again now by the hurricane Winston. So they were hit by three disasters. And the government decided that this is really one of the most vulnerable villages and most vulnerable people in Fiji. So they decided to, to build this kind of village with SPC and the support of the European Union. 
and make it also a model village to basically say, okay, this is a safe area for them. Here they can live now in safety. It is set up in a way which is climate resilient and, uh, and also in, in a way that they can develop themselves so that there is some economic activities, there's sanitation, there's water supply, there's a school. And we are very happy that we could support that. We provide a lot of the scientific and uh, evidence-based decisions that have happened around the relocation, uh, some of the assessment work, but more importantly we've provided I think the hands to enable both the infrastructure, the new infrastructure to take place. Uh, and the, the SPC team um, has done a fantastic job. Uh, it has been incredibly challenging for them, I'm sure. Um, but today I think we saw the results of a very unique um, partnership between SPC, of course the European Union, and more importantly, what I sense, um, uh, very traditional um, processes around land ownership, land discussions, land conciliation, and how that has merged together with both scientific as well as development partner and, stake, um, and stakeholder support. Ketuba bina bina katuki na leo ni korongo. Wia umandanga shini bambauta mena vangosar na kenereira. Wa thabuta tukwa nungu wa shini bina bina. Wike munike dhe na dundolinga mai.